You're live. Holy bloody Hello. hell. G'day, guys. How, How are, are we? we? <laughs> I see it's good to see Berko is here on time. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let us know if you can hear us really well. Give us some like, thumbs up, some uh, emojis and whatnot. We are in a very big house at the moment. It feels echoey, but yeah. I don't know. I don't know how it's coming to the computer. But yeah, welcome. Another live. Do mm -hmm. enjoy a good live. It's been a long time, but uh, I feel like we'll just we'll rip into a few key. I think we've got about five key questions that we've uh, sort of just come through socials and bits and pieces. So we'll probably rip into them pretty quick, um, and then we'll just start streaming through all the questions down the right hand side here and start answering some questions. I think. I'm assuming we can. You can hear us, okay? Are we all good? Yeah. Sorry for being on time. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. First of all. Let's get into the caravan. The big elephant in the room. That's yeah. That's the number one question that everybody keeps talking about and I know asking you know. about. Yeah. Um, the most amount of news that I <laughs> feel comfortable giving to you so far is it's turning up next week. Yeah, late next week. Late next week. So very, very, very excited. Um, I'm almost lost for words because it's like next level exciting. It's been a, a long wait, a very... Uh, I wouldn't say difficult, but it's been a, a challenging sort of, I don't know, a few months or a couple of months. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's been interesting being home, hey. Like initially it was like, yay, family, friends, oh, my God, yeah. you know. Um, but because we haven't come back and come back to, you know, a normal mainstream job mm. and we're doing YouTube, but our YouTube kind of relies on us being on the road, we're like in this limbo sort of thing. So it's been yeah, it's been awesome to be here and see everyone, but in the same token, it was like, I don't know, I guess we're ready to go. We want oh, to go. Oh, well and truly. If, if anything it's taught us is being back in familiar territory and what we know so well, uh, but after doing everything we've done for the last two and a half years, it's sort of shown us what we have created and how much we enjoy that um, and how much we really appreciate what we've created. Yeah. Uh, because it's it's very different and it's not for everybody. Yeah. But I feel like for us it's really... I don't know, it's it's like, it's addictive. It's like yeah. almost like a... I feel like I remember like a lot of people saying, you wait till you go home and you're just going to like really struggle when you go home. And I feel like we've been here long enough to have that experience. Oh, so definitely, I, can, yeah. I feel like we can relate with people now that come back and go back to work and back to reality and back to peak hour traffic and oh, yeah. school routines and <laughs> things like that. So um, we actually asked on Instagram the other night um, if there's anything that you wanted to know about what would it be sort of thing. So the main things that came out, there's like five points that I've got here. Um, so one of them was about the van. Obviously, we're not going to tell you much, but it is coming late next week. So probably not next week's episode, but the one after will definitely be a reveal. So you yeah. guys have no more than 14 days <laughs> and you'll know everything that we know. <laughs> um, uh, then the other thing that came out, of course, was also what it's been like being at home. Um, we've kind of touched on that now a little bit. I mean, home is home, you know. Yeah. It's, it's, yeah. yeah. I, oh. I don't want to like bag it out and say it's really bad, but it, it's like good being back. But it, yeah. it sort of reminds you, like, it brings oh. you back to your roots and makes you really yeah. appreciate being away as well. And I think if you were going back to machinery and me to nursing, we would have mm. probably fallen into it a lot easier. Um, but because we're doing YouTube, which is a travel channel and around caravanning, but yeah. we're in a house, it's like, oh, how do we make this work? Yeah, and that, that's why I was saying on Instagram the other day, like I feel bad that we don't have like our normal content. Like that's not what we're about, you know. <laughs> yeah. So if you can hear dogs as well, we're babysitting <laughs> dogs and they're like play fighting right now. Yeah. They're having the time of their life. Um, the other thing that you guys have been asking about a lot is the camp out. Um, yeah. And you want to know more about that. So, Coffs with, Harbour. Yeah, Coffs Harbour. So for anyone that doesn't know, I put up on the socials a few times now and I'll start to bring it in a little bit more, getting closer to the date. Um, but basically, for anybody that doesn't know, we're sort of trying to create a, a community of people yeah. that can jump on uh, a page and find out what's going on, where we're going to be, what new events are coming up. So it's basically just you guys getting the opportunity to yeah. come and hang out with us um, and come camping. So our first camp out, where was it? Springs 4x4. Four four, yeah. And it went really well. It was we awesome. Had, Absolutely amazing. Like so many people turn up. Yeah. And so we've arranged Coffs Harbour. We've also started the um, Big Oz Camp Out Crew page on yeah. Facebook. So if you're not on that, you can join that as well. And we'll give updates about upcoming camp events. But mm. what our goal with this going forward, it's obviously still quite new. Um, we're going to grow that community and we're going to do camp outs across Australia. So wherever we are, we're going to plan these. We'll do it in places 
Some will be for pets. Some will be in school holidays. You yeah. know, some will be midweek for full time travelers. Mix it yeah. up. Yeah, like some it's, bush, some beach, some for driving. It's going to be something different every each, each yeah. and every time. So yeah, it should be really cool. But the idea is to bring people together. Like you guys say, you feel like you know us, and we want to yeah. know you. We want to get to know you and give back. And 100%. You know, like big at the springs, everyone who turned up was just like us and we got along with everyone. It was like the best experience. So we want to yeah. give that to you and have you guys all come together and meet people in your area as well. Like how cool is that if you find a new camping crew or something? Like, yeah, it's not just about us. It's about coming along and making new friends and friendships and building people a in your own area. Yeah, so I reckon it was, it's, it was really a good experience. I, we didn't really know which way it was going to go. But um, I'm glad we have done it now because it was just absolutely amazing. And everyone just did their own thing. We sort of hung out. We're just sitting around fires. We uh, yeah. well, obviously being at the full drive park, we uh, took off for a few hours each day and did a few tracks and things like that. People that weren't so much into full driving just stayed back yeah. and, were, you know, starting fires and just hanging out. So it's just... Yeah, it's, there's yeah. nothing stressful about it. It's just a really cool laid back sort of scene. We didn't really do a itinerary as such for the last one. And no. a few people have been asking us, will we be doing an itinerary for this one? We will, but we'll do it a little bit closer. So yeah. it's still a number of weeks away. And because it's during school holidays, um, I guess people are still sorting out their holidays and what time they've got with their kids mm. and what parent has which kids. And God, there's so many different things that go on. Yeah. So um, at this stage, I called this afternoon, there's 20 booked. So I don't know if that's 20 people or 20 families. I'm assuming 20 bookings. So yeah. it's, yeah, that's pretty cool. And she said people, normally closer to the date it will ramp up. So yeah. um, if you haven't booked yet, yeah, book in, make sure you get that spot. They're really mm. big venues so we can like fit quite a few people. Um, yeah. But we'll figure out an itinerary based on numbers closer to the event. That's kind of the plan anyway. Just checking. Hello to everyone, by the way. There's so much conversation <laughs> like, going yeah. on the side. Um, okay, so the other thing that came up a lot that you guys wanted to know about was Jada and her schooling. So mm. she's in bed at the moment. She's actually got book week tomorrow, so they get to all dress up. She wanted to be, um, oh, I can't think of the vampire's name. Was it for Twilight? Twilight. Yeah, she's, she's like absolutely obsessed with Twilight. <laughs> she said to me tonight, she goes, Mum, I love Edward Cullen and I told my friend at school today and they don't know who he is. I'm like, what do you mean? Because <laughs> most kids her age don't know about Twilight yet. But so yeah. she's got like a full vampire costume that we've bought for her. So she's gone to bed so she's up ready in time. But she's done term three in a mainstream school. Um, she's She really wanted to do it more from the social aspect. She said, you know, like I just mm. want to have friends around and stuff and We've since learned through this experience as well that Jada, she maybe needed more contact with friends and people at home and stuff like that. So mm. going forward, we were talking about, you know, what she wanted to do going forward because we were open to her either staying with close family and doing school or coming with us. Um, but what she's got going forward is a phone with very, very strict restrictions. So she can very message. She's got unlimited calls and texts to message and call family, yeah. um, but very restricted. There's no games. There's none of that on there. It's no. literally for contact. And the second she knew that was coming, she's like, cool, I want like, to come. changed everything. Yeah. yeah. And, so it was kind of, it's good though to put it through that because it was a real yeah. big reality check for her because she hadn't really experienced much school before we'd left. It was more prep. Yeah. So it was like the fun side of school and bits and pieces. So I think she was honing for that that school sort of Yeah, to know what it's feel. about. Yeah, and just to sort of understand it and I guess get her head around it. And now yeah. she's she's had a, a pretty decent uh, injection of it. <laughs> she um she's the kid now that in the morning the alarm goes off yeah. and she's like, Oh, uh, do I have out. to get up? And I'm like, Yes, you do. You yeah. wanted to go to school, you go to it's school. It's your choice, you gotta keep going. Yeah, you can't a couple of weeks not go to school. Yeah. Um, but the other thing as well with that, obviously we've been able to talk to teachers then about her grades. So we've been doing yeah. it now for two and a half years. So it was like, where does she stand? Sort yeah, of thing. It was and sort of into we were like on the edge of our seat to see where she's like sitting yeah. out compared to every other kid sort of thing. So we got a um email from uh her teacher basically saying, Can you come in and meet with us? And I was like, Oh my god. <laughs> Here said, we go. <laughs> she said nothing. She just wants to meet with us. She said, you know, on this day or this day at this time. I was like, Oh god, she's like not even said it's good or bad. <laughs> so I was freaking out. Um, but we turned up and pretty much she just straight out said. Her English, her reading, and her general knowledge is through the roof, fantastic, not an issue in the world. Yeah. However, her maths needs a little bit of work. I'm like, 
okay, well, we kind of knew that. Like that's how we felt in the van as well. So oh, absolutely, yeah. Really good to confirm yeah. those details in a sense. Um, but, yeah, going forward, she'll be through the Mount Isa School of the Air, mm. uh, which is kind of a paper-based learning, but you submit everything digitally. Mm. So she doesn't have to be in front of a computer every single day. If we've got no service, we can do schoolwork. Yeah. Um, but there will be things that she needs to be on a computer for as well. So we'll probably touch a lot more on this as we're um, getting back in the van and getting back on the road and stuff. There's there's a lot that we've got coming to you guys and uh, different brands and a few bits and pieces happening in the background. So this, the, yeah. the distance ed thing will be another thing that we'll talk about yeah. and go into a bit more depth later on. So stay um, tuned for that one. We've got one more point, but before we get into it, our adventures down under. Oh, the big thank yellow. you. <laughs> oh, we got here's a couple of beers on us to celebrate the new van, and we'll see you at the camp out for another. Oh, Sweet. legends! Thank you How so much, that? guys. That's awesome. I really appreciate yeah, it. Yeah, it's yeah. Oh, I just love the new van. <laughs> oh, just, no. We want the van. Oh, it's, it's been hard. It's oh, been hard. It's all good. Not <laughs> we're, long. We're nearly there. Oh, here we go. Look at this Teddy. Hey, oh, say yeah. hi to everybody. And this hi. is Archie. <laughs> These are who, hang on. These are my sister's dogs, so we've yeah. been babysitting. <laughs> They're brothers, so they act yeah. like brothers. They're oh. always at each other. They're always rolling around um, and wrestling. King Charles. Yeah. King, King Charles Cavaliers. King, King Kong. Yeah. But um, so, yeah, they've been our mates while we've been here. Yeah. Um, so the other main question that came up as well, uh, what was that? Was around our travel plan. So what we're actually going to do. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Every time we talk about this, I feel like it, it changes and it's yeah. going in the opposite direction. So in a roundabout way, realistically, we want to go south. Reason why we want to go south is because we haven't done the WA coast around through Tassie. WA coast. I mean, oh my God, I spent so much time over there. New, New South, South Wales, Wales coast. Yeah. Um, so down around the corner, Tasmania, ACT, Melbourne, Victoria, all that sort of stuff. So it was more or less to go down there and sort of tick off those areas. And then basically we've done most of Australia and then we can sort of pick and choose and, you know, plan where we want to go after that. Yeah. But, we, want, we want to try and stay down there during the warmer months, but when it yeah. starts to get cold, we're going to shoot back up and do probably some of the centre where we haven't done yet. Um, the other plan we've got is to do Cape York in 2023. So we're going to go yeah. back there this time with a capable patrol. Capable, yeah. Well, a few more extras a, on the a, patrol. A dust-free caravan. Oh, my God. Like, it's going to be a totally different It's going to be really cool. The way it should have been the first time. Yeah. But you so learn so much from it. We've been planning a few people um, and a bit of a crew for that as well. So it'll be yeah. a really cool get-together. Yeah, we really want to try and make a uh, a good a good trip of it because we enjoyed yeah. so much last time. Uh, we had three, well, two families, two other families, and we picked up a couple on the way through if you've seen the uh, the series and the episodes. But, um. It's just one of those places that you could go by yourself yeah. and you could get to the top and come back and you've made like 25, 30 other friends along the way because it's just that kind of place. Yeah. So. But before we get there, it will be New South Wales, it will be Victoria, it will be yeah. ACT, possibly Tasmania. Um, Depending we, on if we can yeah, get over there. We haven't booked else. the boat, but apparently a lot of people cancel and there yeah. are spots in that. So we've kind of just left that as an unknown because we don't really travel to a time scale. No. Um, actually, another question that we had on Instagram is uh, do we make bookings? We have zero bookings, no. zero plans. The only plans we have is exactly what we've told you now. That's it. Um, I've got a <laughs> list in my phone which is of – like all of the places we've been recommended to go to mm. or that we want to go to. And I kind of go by that as we get to the area, but that's about it. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty so, yeah. laid back. It's probably the best way to travel. I think what was it? there was someone that said, what's the best travel tip you could give? And I, I reckon like book minimal. Yeah. Don't book too much because you end up getting restricted and you'll, you're under a time constraint. You've got to be in certain places at certain times. And yeah. That's the one thing I think we learned from the first six months of our trip is like we – well, we kind of had to book, but it gave us an opportunity to experience that and realize like how much stress can actually be involved in yeah. that. Um, to not book anything like there's so many places to stay, yeah. Like the roadside pullover bays, like on a dirt patch, are some of the best camps we've stayed at. Like, our goal, I'll give you this this is a little heads up. Our goal for the next 12 months, <laughs> are you listening? <laughs> is to not go to a caravan park. Well, oh, but if we do, unpowered. Yeah, I don't want to plug in for 12 months. Yeah, no power for 12 months. So that's yeah. 
I think that's more than enough self, info. Self sustained. <laughs> self sustained. Oh my goodness. <laughs> All right. So who we got in the comments? If you've got any questions that you want to know, um, let us know. There's a lot of conversation going on here. Hey, I was reading that. Oh right. I was gonna scrolling. go back to the top and try and I was just gonna say, um, hey Dark, <laughs> hey Stuart, hey Berko. I saw there was one from Tony Trob. We got Paul here, Manda. A lot of our regulars are lost in the right direction. John and Sylvia. Hey. Um, where else? Let's see. I'm just trying to go back and see all the names. Oh, my God. There's so much. There's heaps of you here. So if there's anyone who has any questions, start chucking them in and we'll answer a few. We're going to – oh, hey, Brian and Sue's here too. Um, (laughs) We've got about 15 minutes until our episode starts. So pretty much what will happen is I will end this stream. If you just stay on the page you're on, it's going to take you directly to that countdown and the normal episode process. It's only a half an hour episode tonight, so you've still got your hour window of us, just half of it was with us yeah. for a change. It's a little bit different, yeah. Yeah. It's so um... I'm hoping it works. If it doesn't, please send me a message and tell me what happened. <laughs> but I set it up right, so, yeah, fingers crossed. Um, so where are we? EcoFlow, using EcoFlow. Oh, that's that brand with them. Um, the uh, generators in that portable uh, battery yeah. systems and things like that. Yeah, we don't have EcoFlow. No. Oh. no. However, they're a really good brand. Um, where are we? Who do you use for national roadside assistance? Um, we're actually through. Um, we kept the same, didn't we? What's it called? Yeah. RACQ. So we've got RACQ. No, NRMA. NRMA, NRMA roadside assist. Uh, we're on. I can't remember what the level's called. It's one of the top ones there and it covers you for up to 10 tonnes. So it was a little bit more expensive with an annual fee. Mm. Um, we also have our insurance through them as well. So yeah, between the two, um, yeah, we're covered either way. Kind of our insurance will cover us or the roadside covers us. However, there was a couple of times when we were up near the Gibbon that and I was looking into it, the amount of kilometres that they're willing to tow you versus the amount of kilometres that we needed to go, we would have still been out of pocket. It may have mm-hmm. covered us for a little period of it, but we would have owed more money to the tow driver. So just look into that if you're really going remote because um, I feel a, like... It's, it's a tricky one, isn't it? It's, roadside assist is good when you're in the cities and you're in the yeah. mainstream areas. If you're going really off-grid, I think you're better off getting something like a Zolio um, where you can SOS for help and they can either bring you out a mechanic, a tow truck and that. And like for that off chance, like yeah. you're still going to be out of pocket regardless of what happens, but we'll have both. I mean, it's, mm. yeah, it's a hard it, it one. It is a tricky it one. It depends a, how you travel. It's a question that gets asked a fair bit because there's so many different deals and things are going around and it's, yeah, it's a hard one to pick depending on your setup and what you do as yeah. well. Um, in here, Amanda, lick the stick, Chris. If I had a <laughs> stick right now, I would use your peer pressure. Oh, my God. For, if I had a dollar really for every, everyone that said lick the stick. In the I'd scenario, be if my sister messages me in the next, like, two minutes <laughs> and tells me if there's a stick in this house. It's not happening. I will go and get it. No. <laughs> um, okay, where are we? Uh, I'm just trying to read three questions at the same time. We love I'm, how Chris says off. He off. does say it funny, doesn't off. he? Yeah, it's off. Are you it's using the, the shark fin <laughs> Wi-Fi on the new van? Or oh, Rob or oh, Robert? Um, we... You'll have to wait and see. It's different. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it's slightly <laughs> it's, different. It's going to be something slightly different. Will we do the gib? We would 100% do right. the gib again. Totally. But we won't be over in WA for a little while because we've got other It'll things be... to do on East Coast for a bit now. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Um, no, I'd love to do the gib again. Actually, that was a really good trip we did. Oh, Roy's on. Gypsies. He's from England. Hello, Roy. Hi. Um, I know he's over here later this year, so hopefully we'll catch you somewhere on the East Coast. I thought I'd seen, was it Chase, uh, Tristan, Jason Adventures? Tristan oh, yes, we did. Hello. Um, I think it was something to do with hot sauce. It was a hot sauce. The hot Star- sauce challenge. Oh, Epic. Starlink. We got stuff about Starlink. No, there was a hot sauce one as well at the camp out. I seen it hot there. sauce challenge at the camp out at Coffs. Yeah, I reckon that's a great idea. I like it. If Let's people are keen, we can do that. Maybe yeah. we'll have to do a poll. We can do that one evening. Yeah, See well, if you can beat Chris, because Chris is bloody good with hot sauce. Yeah, yeah. We might have it. We might do it on the last day or the second last day. So people, if they're suffering, they can just go home. Yeah. <laughs> it gets pretty hectic. It's pretty hot, I must admit. Oh, there's so many stick comments going on. We need. Uh, I need to get one for the next live. I'm just going to prepare it and have it anyway so that it doesn't matter where we I'll are. Just get it over and done with so nobody, I can stop being hassled. How do you go with wooden knives and forks? It's just as bad. It. I can't. Anything Anything wood, it's just, oh, I don't know. 
Um, Some chopsticks that I can actually do, which is bizarre. I, I can't even control it. it. Just it is what it is. So um, our adventures down under. I see you asking there about our internet setup. We have an episode actually around that setup. It was like a um, external Wi-Fi antenna, and then the night Telstra night hawk, night yeah. hawk inside the caravan. Um, external yeah. antenna. Yeah, it worked really well. Um, but we just it was, doing it was a, something that's better for us. Yeah, it was yes. a good setup, but it was more like just to test it and see how it goes. Like for your basic everyday today sort of usage, it was great for that. Um, but then obviously you get people like us where we're getting very remote and we need the internet more times than most. So yeah. we've looked into a few other different avenues and we've found something else. So yeah, yeah Chris, something coming through. From Michael here, what happened to your Mo and Goaty? That had a lot of feedback, oh, Chris. Oh, I got <laughs> absolutely smashed when I got the old caterpillar on the top there. Holy hell. I reckon in that episode when I had it, 90% of the comments were about the Mo. Um, it was gone the next day. Like I actually hate having hair on my face. I've got a bit now. It's a rare occasion for him to have that. Yeah, I, I actually hate hair on my face. So that was... I actually just left that to see what would happen, and I don't think I'll ever do it again. <laughs> yeah. Um, what do we got? Louisa Downey here has just started watching us from the beginning, currently at 2021. Hey, so good thank stuff. Thank you. Welcome. Yeah, and enjoy the series. Uh, what else have we got? A ring sting. Salute. He said there's going to be a ring sting. A ring sting. That's mm. you. Yeah, oh, that is me. It's all He's me. pretty good. He just keeps going back for more, though, and that's where the problems start happening um, <laughs> when it comes to hot sauce. <laughs> yeah. um, are there any restrictions to what size van you can take on the spirit of Tassie from Stuart? To be honest, I really don't know. I don't think so because it all comes down to, length, yeah, it's all, for what I know, it's you book the length that you want. Yeah. Um, because I guess they've got to get semi-trailers and trucks and stuff over there for supplies and things like that. So yeah. I would assume so, but we haven't looked into it yet, like we said before, so I can't really give you any details about it. Yeah. Well, when the time comes, we'll tell you more. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, um, we'll, um, we'll do a whole thing on it for sure. What's next? We've got Rowena. Do we have – Rowena, I hope I'm saying that right. Do we have <laughs> a sat phone? Um, we don't, no. but we do have – Teddy. Oh. Stop, he's licking me to death. Needy, needy. <laughs> um, so we don't have a sat phone, but we do have what's called a Zolio. Um, so a Zolio is like a, a texting device, a satellite texting device, and also yeah. an SOS device. So if something goes wrong, you can click a button, kind of like an EPIRB. Um, but the difference is you get connected to someone live on the other end and they say, what's your problem? Um, and then if your problem's mechanical, they can get a mechanic out to you. If your problem's medical, they can get flying doctors out to you. So it in a, in a nutshell, you, you can text anywhere. Yeah. You like, say happy you birthday. You can be in the most mom. remotest like location ever. Yeah. And you can always text. It's pretty cool. Here we go. When's there going to be the Big Oz wedding? Oh. <laughs> it had to come up <laughs> once, right? Oh, surely. Oh, I was funny. waiting for a bit more of that coming through, but. Yeah, well, I can only imagine the comments that are going to come out of the next episode because it's all about a wedding. Oh, yeah, so <laughs> next gonna, episode. Yeah, mm. and for anyone that didn't see on the socials, I won't, I won't spoil it, but something happened on the socials at the wedding that I put up. Um, and you got smashed because of it. Yeah, so I'll, we'll, we'll leave it for the episode. You've got you're to tune in for that one to find out. My sister's wedding, I was maid of honour, and we actually got someone to come and help us do some filming. So we've kind yeah. of shown you a bit of behind the scenes of that and family and things like that. So if you want to know more about us and you're curious, you know, like if you watch something enough and then you go Google it and you're like, Sean, where does – she work or I don't know, you know, you start looking up things because you want to know more. So it's kind of trying to give you that side of things as well. So you can learn a bit more about us. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, no, it be, be, really it'll cool. be really cool. And the videographer we had come along, he was a cool guy too. So I'm curious. Yeah, young bloke, he was a real thing. And, yeah, really cool guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it should be should be pretty interesting. It's it's not very well, it's the first time we've ever had someone come in and work with us. So yeah. If uh, all goes mm -hmm. well, it could be something that goes uh where Into the we? future, I'd say. We've got six minutes. Ooh. Uh, how long do you Jessica's think quick. Max is, Chris? Maybe 1,500 metres. He's, he's, <laughs> don't ask Chris for measurements. You know this, though, <laughs> This is a silly question. That was a, yeah, one time. I'll never live it down. Uh, um, Aussie Destinations took theirs there, and it's huge, yeah. And I think ours yeah. is a shorter setup. So 100% we can get there, um, but I don't know what the maximum is. No. Nah. Um, get Teddy to lick the stick. Teddy would lick the stick. He licks everything he and anything in his literally licks mouth everything. area. Yeah. Um, right. I don't want to get Chris to book the spirit. The whole boat will be booked for his <laughs> measurements. 
Chris isn't very good at guesstimation, so if you're on older episodes, you'll learn this. We'd have the whole boat to ourselves. How good would it be? Yeah. It costs a fortune, but we'd have the whole boat to ourselves. Yeah. <laughs> um, but where are we? Oh, no, it came back down. Chasing an adventure. Here we go. Do you guys have a PO box at all or just deliver post office post two post offices you know you're visiting? So we do both. Yeah. Um, it's a common question, but a good question. Yeah, it's a really a good one. So know. we use my mum's address on our licenses because mm. you have to have a street address and obviously we don't want our old home address and someone else getting <laughs> random, <laughs> random <mail>. things. <laughs> um, so we got my mum's address on both of our licenses and then we have a PO box which mum looks after for us. So that's things like banking, statements, you mm. know, uh, new licenses, new bank cards, things like that. They all go there. Um, and then... When you go to towns, you can actually do what's called parcel collect. So I've yeah. got a parcel collect ID. It's like a random number with my name. And then you put the address of the post office where you're nearest to. And they'll hold it there for you for 30 days. 30 days, so, yeah. So it works, it works out pretty good. Mm, the only thing is... You have to plan ahead. Yeah, you've got to plan ahead to, because if you don't plan ahead enough and you get to, get to the location and... They're meant to be turning up in the next couple of days, but you're leaving in the next couple of days. You've either got to hang around and hope that it turns up or you leave. You've got to get it redirected, and that's when it gets really yeah. sort of lost and It can get frustrating. really messy. It's happened a few times, and, yeah. So plan ahead. That's probably the biggest key. Yeah. Oh, I've just seen we've got someone, Jimmy, on. He said, I can't believe I missed this live. You're always here too. <laughs> Naughty. <laughs> um So, yeah, I'm thinking, well, at this point, I'm going to end this. We've got about four minutes left and then I want to end it. I don't want to end it too soon because I don't want it not to take you to the premiere page. I just, (laughs) I don't know how this is going to work. So you have to tell me from the other side what happens. Um, But, yeah, pretty much we just wanted to touch base. It's just been so um, different being in a house for this amount of time. It was never the plan to be stopped this long. It's, yeah, well, yeah, Yeah. obviously it wasn't planned, but. Uh, yeah, things have stretched out, but it's it's been hectic. Like, yeah, it's nonstop. I don't know how we got so busy. Like, it's got so busy to the point where it's like, yeah, I I don't even know how to deal some days. Like, it's just it's so crammed in. Today but, was one of those days. I got oh, back about seriously. fifteen minutes before the live actually started. Yeah. We've got a higher <laughs> car at the moment because yeah. tomorrow our car is getting dropped off for five days because we're getting something done, mm. Ooh, which mm. we'll tell you about. Yes. Um, yeah, but, <laughs> but uh, yeah, yeah. No, it's it's been. Yeah, it's been challenging, uh, exciting, fun, but, yeah, we're well and truly yeah. ready to hit the road. It's, like, more than ever. But we just thought it would be a good opportunity to basically touch base, say yeah. hey, let you know a couple of things going on, show you that we're still here, we're not ending. A few people have messaged, they're like, you've yeah. got to go travel again. And we're like, yes, we are travelling. Like, don't a lot, worry. A lot, a lot of just... people thought we were pulling, like, pulling yeah, stunts. Yeah, like, not yet. Yeah, We've but... got a lot left in us still, and we've oh. got a lot to come. We've got – you should see our lists of – things that we want to film and do and some of them even we had the old man at the time and we're like we'll just wait now and we'll do it with the new one and then everything's taken that long that this list maybe we should have started it with the old one and then continued with the new one and uh, it it is what it is though so yeah yeah we've we've been hibernating and there's like so many brainstorming ideas that we've just want to do but we haven't been able to do but yeah definitely excited definitely keen and we can't wait to just show you guys too because it's it's one thing to hide it, well, not hide it, but like keep it away from you for so long because yeah. God, we get smashed like so much about what yeah. it is, what are you doing? Um, I'm like, it's really leading. hard to keep the secret. Jada, yeah. So I'll tell you something. Jada even knows, and I don't know how. Nothing's come out. Well, that's why her phone's restricted. Yeah. Well, <laughs> she'd be all over Instagram and stuff. Be like, guys, yeah. guess what we're doing. Uh, oh, what have we got over in here? Any last questions that I've got? I know there's a lot of people saying, you know, like they're happy they're tuned in. Now, I need to know, does Chris own any socks? Oh, I saw this on Instagram. What is this? What, what, am I, I think, missing something? So the oh, shoes. Oh, because I'm always wearing thongs. Yeah. Why? No, I think it's also, is it because of his A-leader shoes? Because the shoes he wears are actually water shoes. So you don't need to wear socks because they aerate. <laughs> but I do wear socks sometimes. Yeah, but he does. He wears like the <laughs> invisible ones that you can't see. We, we actually both wear socks. If we don't look like we're wearing socks, it's because they're underneath our shoe line. <laughs> that was, like, so bizarre. They, had, they came up, like, half a dozen times in the last few days. I was yeah, like, it's really. What, what's going on here? Why do people want to know about my feet? <laughs> they're, they're, they're disappointed. <laughs> they can't see your toes anymore. <laughs> That's all you know, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't bring them up. On, that's there on the internet now. <laughs> it's all good. I've done worse. 
I'm going to shoo you off a of thong. Yes, this is true. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, we're going to end this here. Um, as I said, just stay on this page. What will happen is once I click end, it's going to take you directly to the next episode. So there'll be a countdown like there normally is in the premiere and the chat will keep going. We'll be there on the chat. So if there's something we missed, chuck it in there. We'll keep chatting to you through this episode. Um, we're basically going to uh, Bribey Island. So that's our old local. We've got some old footage in mm. there of like Jack when he was only like yeah. two weeks old. And some, um... oh, the first video that we ever made <laughs> yeah. pre Big Oz. This yeah. is like Big Oz wasn't even a thing. And I thought it was the greatest video ever in the world. So yeah, tell me your feedback. Let me know what you think. <laughs> <laughs> but, it yeah. should be a bit of fun. But yeah, thank you very much, guys. Um, always love, love doing a lot. Yeah. There'll be definitely more of this happening down the track. But uh, hope you enjoy the episode and we will catch you next week. Stay there. We'll see you in a minute on the chat. <laughs>